Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So this one is going to be a really good one for all my Valorant competitive players out there. And this is really, really important. I'm going to go over through a lot of stuff and I'm going to scratch off all the BS on the internet and just give you the rundown on the best competitive settings along with just some other stuff that you can do within Windows that just generally help latency in general and your FPS in general. So first of all, go through the visual settings real quickly. So go to settings in Valorant. So once you're in settings, you're basically just going to go through all of this. So beta raw input buffer, just turn this on. Honestly, on a thousand hertz for your mouse, this doesn't make any difference, to be honest. But on 8000 hertz, it definitely does make a difference. Their whole reason for the setting being made was for 8000 hertz mice. They just have trouble performing at their best with just the standard buffers. So they created this called raw input buffer. Obviously, it's still in beta, so some people might have like weird things going on. But for most of you, this should already be on by default. So just do on and call it a day. It shouldn't cause any issues. And you're going to scroll down and show corpses and show blood. This does actually help performance just a teeny tiny bit you can turn these off if you don't care about these all right so we're going to go to video display mode always use full screen never use window full screen all right this is kind of a basic thing for most of your games out there never use windowed unless it's just like a casual game and you really don't care about it for, but for most of you competitive gamers do display mode set to full screen never ever window all right resolution again make sure you are on 1920 by 1080 144 hertz or whatever the maximum is for you and let me fps on battery turn this off let me fps and menus turn this off and let me fps and background you can also turn this off let me fps always make sure to turn this on in valorant there is like just a benefit of just having consistent frames it's not going to mess up your aim and the consistency is just going to compound you're going to be able to practice better stuff like that so having a consistent frame rate that you know 100 percent most of the time you are going to achieve is really important so usually i just tell people to cap at a refresh rate of your monitor but in this instance, Valorant is a very high frame rate game, so you can actually cap it at a multiple of your refresh rate of your monitor. So for example, I have it capped at 288 because I know for a fact on my system, I can get about 288 stable all around most of the maps that I play. And my display is a 144 hertz monitor. So all I did is just multiply 144 by two, and that's the FPS that I'm gonna cap at. And we're doing this just to preserve the smoothness and not have any display stutters. And it's gonna help a lot with, especially people on a low lower end monitor for example a 60 hertz monitor you can cap all the way to 240 and you'll be perfectly fine it'll still be smooth but again 240 is obviously going to be better 240 hertz if you are able to do about 480 fps in valorant and that's if you're on a pretty beefy system then you can cap at 480 but again that probably requires a beefy system plus a pc optimization done by me otherwise you probably won't be able to hit that consistently nvidia reflux latency set that to on on plus boost does cause issues in this game and it caps your fps at 1250 maximum not like the capping of the fps matters but on plus boost does cause instability so on is perfectly fine in this game and i usually just say this for most games out there just set it to on obviously on plus boost you could test around with that but what on plus boost does basically it boosts the gpu's clock speeds in certain scenarios that are gpu intensive in this game i mean most of us are running all low settings just because we're all trying to get the best aim and the best competitive game style so other than that just make sure you cap your fps at a multiple or at your refresh rate nvidia Reflex low latency set that to on and display mode is on full screen graphics quality this is really where we get down to the nitty gritty so multi-threaded rendering turn this on usually it's on by default but if you have this setting just make sure it's on on material quality low texture quality low detail quality low ui quality also do low all these other ones low especially v-sync anti-aliasing none anisotropic filtering 1x everything else you could pretty much turn off again this is not a guide on how to make your game look good this is a guide on how to make your game literally run competitively and since the dawn of gaming everyone's going to use a low high refresh rate setting settings just so they get the competitive advantage so we're going to go to stats and again just make sure your client fps and tick rate is on text only you can do some other stuff in here but honestly these are the ones that you want to look at the most input latency this honestly really is very very misinformative in the name you cannot actually measure your input latency in game you actually need an external tool for this so what this basically does is just gonna show you the game latency which is just really just dependent on your frame times and what frame times are 
it's just basically how long it takes to make the next frame for your monitor. And generally on higher frame rates, you're going to get less frame times. And that's why the game will feel faster and it will feel a lot smoother. That's the whole point of that. But other than that, all these are fine if you want to look at them. But again, it doesn't really matter. Packet loss, you definitely want to set this to text only. This is kind of important. If you're experiencing packet loss, this could hinder your gameplay and you could have rubber banding, which I'm talking from experience. Rubber banding in this game sucks. It's horrible. So you want to just see if you have that as an issue. If you do have packet loss, you want to call your internet provider and just let them know that you have packet loss. Usually they'll send a technician out and he'll just go check things. But other than that, we're going to go to audio. Basically, you just want to make sure HRTF is just off. But other than that, that's going to be pretty much it for the Valorant in-game settings. And now we're going to dive into just some general stuff within Windows that should just help in almost all of your games. So these are just some general Windows things. Again, nothing too special. We are going to do one thing that should help your mouse driver latency. And this will make a night and day difference in game, especially on desktop as well. But first of all, we're just going to go over the basics and we'll leave that for last. So we're going to go to Windows settings. And again, I've mentioned this in other videos. We're going to go to system, scroll all the way down under display, go to graphic settings, turn off hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now, if you're on Windows 11 and you go down to graphic settings, you might have to click change default GPU settings. Go in there, turn this off as well as turn on optimizations for windowed gameplay. Just turn that on just in case and it should help with other games as well. But we're going to go to power and sleep, go to additional power settings, make sure you're using ultimate performance or high performance if you have it or use a custom power plan. I'm using a custom power plan and if you're on my optimization, you're going to be using that as well. Go to storage, turn it off, turn off storage sense, shared experiences, same thing, remote desktop, same thing. Now we're going to go to sound and click sound control panel and we're going to go to any of these playback devices. You can actually double click on them and one of them should have enhancements. You can check disable all enhancements, press apply and then press OK. And just do that for all of your speakers in there just because enhancements do take up some system resources and we obviously just want most of those just for our gameplay, not for sounds. If you do use them, that's your thing. Keep a lot. Notifications, always turn these off. They are useless. Now, when I go to gaming, game mode, you need to test on and off between this depending on your CPU. So six cores and above, I'd say you're pretty much chilling. You can turn this off. Anything under that, so like a quad core CPU, you would want to turn this on and just test around with it. Xbox game bar, this is horrendous for FPS. Never turn this on. Go back to home and we're just basically going to go to privacy and we're going to scroll the way down, go to background apps, make sure this is off. And that's pretty much it for the Windows side of things. Now, one important thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our task manager. We're going to go to details and we're going to scroll down towards the C section. There's something called csrss.exe. This is your mouse driver. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to put a higher priority on this specific process in order to get lower mouse latency and just make our mouse more responsive. So you just want to keep this exe name in mind. And all we're going to do is press Windows key and R, type reg, edit, and then press OK. And now all we're going to do is we're going to go to H key local machine, expand that and expand software, scroll down towards Microsoft and expand Microsoft. And we're going to find Windows NT and we're going to expand that as well and then expand current version and then scroll all the way down towards the I section. You're going to find image file execution options. And all we're going to do with this little key right here is when I right click on it, click new key and we're going to type this process name exactly. Do not have any mess ups. Do not misspell it. You have to type it exactly for this to apply. So we're going to type C S R S S dot E X E press enter. And we're going to right click on this key that we just made. Click key again, new key. Then we're going to type birth options p is capitalized and so is the o then on the right where this is blank we're here we're gonna right click on here click new d word and we're gonna type cpu priority class and we're gonna set this to four and then we're gonna right click again click new d word type i o priority set this to three and press ok make sure you type these exactly how i have them typed if you don't you are not going to get the benefit of this tweet now once you've done this you can restart your pc and that is pretty much applied so 
this trick is going to help just with your mouse driver latency, as I said earlier, and it's going to make your mouse a lot more responsive along with the clicks, along with anything related to your mouse. So that's pretty much it for this Valorant settings guide video. If you want full PC optimization service for Valorant or for Fortnite or for whatever game you're playing currently, head over to the link in the description and book an optimization. I've worked with people like Duga. And if you want a PC completely custom built for you, optimized for you, and tested for you before you even get it, head over to the second link in the description and buy a PC straight directly from me. But that's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this, comment down below, subscribe, and like this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.